Hello and welcome back to Grade 9 Physics. This is the fifth episode in this series of the Knowledge Catalog. All right, so uh, the Knowledge Catalog's Grade 9 Physics, of course. All right, this is divided into the following parts. The first part is Associate Independent Problem Solving, entitled uh, Catch Me. And then uh, this is actually a continuation of that activity. And then uh, the next part is, a, is also under the Associate section, Investigation of Flight MH117. And then the last part is uh, communicate evaluation through a concept map. Okay, so uh, for this video lesson, we are still in the process of mastering the following learning competency. Describe the horizontal and vertical motions of a project fill. Okay, so that is our um, code right there. Right, so if you want to follow through with some sort of 3D material, you can uh, open your 7e-based self-learning module in Science 9. To Unit 4, Book 18, pages 21 to 25. Yeah, so let's begin. Okay, so um, yeah, for this independent problem solving, what you need to do is uh, you have to identify uh, what formulae to use to use and what processes to employ. Right, so for you to have a guide on what to do for this uh, for these problems, kailangan mo ng copy ng mga dalawa, yung mga apat na previous examples that we were able to do so two of those examples we did them together two of them you did them by yourself with the guide of those uh, first two examples and then now this is the fifth problem what you need to do is to identify okay so what kind of uh, problem this is this and what are the uh, what kind of processes are you going to employ all right so the problem goes like a cannonball on the ground is fired at 35 uh, degrees with, its, uh, with an initial velocity of 250 meters per second all right so how long do you think will the cannonball take will it uh, take for the cannonball to hit the ground and how far from the cannon will the ball hit the ground and then the last one is what is the maximum height that will be achieved by the cannonball so similar to the pre two previous problems before this one um what I will be do what we will be doing here is I'm only going to show you the correct answers and if you have questions we will be addressing them in our uh, synchronous video lessons okay so I'll be giving you time now to solve for the uh, missing factors in this problem uh, if you're ready to, to begin you can now begin are you through Okay, so the following are the answers to this problem. So for the time, it will take around 29 seconds before the cannonball hits the ground. And then the range or the, uh, the uh, dx, which is the total amount of, uh, of distance uh, from the uh, launching site to the uh, landing site, will be around 6,000 meters away from the cannon. And then from the max for the maximum height, which this is with respect to the vertical, um, the cannonball will be reaching a maximum height of 1,000 meters. And I hope that you got uh, the correct answers. Okay. All right, so let's now move to the next uh, part of the session, which is associate and investigation. So what you need to do is you have to investigate uh, this and uh, you just have to read the selection and then answer the question that will follow. Right, so you can now have the time, take the time to read the following um, selection. This is the first part and I hope that, uh, yeah, you will read quite uh, comprehensively. If you're ready to read the next part, you can just uh, uh, play this video. For the second part, And then for the last part, okay. Okay, so I think uh, that you are now ready to, to answer the following question. Okay, I'm only going to give you one question. Okay, the two other questions are going to be given in our synchronous session. Okay. So uh, for the question is, how is the concept of project motion important in the situation described in the selection so let me give you a bit of a background when we're talking when we are solving for the missing factors in project motion we were trying to look for the time we were, we we're solving for distance and we we're solving for velocity 
And we all know that uh, the amount of confusion that is in the uh, selection. Okay, so in investigating these matters, in investigating Limbawa, a stray bullet hitting, say, for instance, uh, a person, how are we going to, how is the, the idea of, project, of solving for uh, projectile uh, motion um, going to be connected to that? How is it connected? Say, for instance, if a bullet hit a, hit a, hit a victim, a person, uh, with the no, I mean, um, for a particular point in time, okay, um, how are we going to know how far is the culprit or uh, based from the firing of the bullet? Okay, so gaano kaya kalayo given the time? Uh, gaano kaya kalayo yung nagfire yung culprit? Okay, san tayo maghahanap ng mga ng mga ano ng mga gun owners kung banda sila. Okay, so we're also talking about velocity, gaano kaya kabilis yun nung nahit niya yung si ano. So given the kind of bullet, given the kind of bullet, uh, what kind or um, where is the person who shot the bullet based from the velocity? And based as well from the impact. All right, so I hope uh, that, in a way, has provided you some degree of guidance. Okay. Now for the answer to this question, okay, uh, the event that took down Site Image One One Seven is being covered by mysteries. Before pressing charges against any party, sufficient evidence must be provided first. So, to know whether the missile was able to hit the said flight by accident or on purpose, the initial velocity and the projection angles must be solved for. Similarly to dun sa, ano, dun sa kanina example natin na stray bullet. For us to know whether or not the uh, firing of the bullet was intentional or, ano, or accidental, we need to know the projection angles as well as the initial velocity of the bullet and in this, in this case, the missile. So this is where the concept of projectile motion is employed in solving for a crime or in solving for these kinds of, uh, of events that is covered by some degree of mystery. And so we're done with the second part of this session, Associate Investigation for Flight MH117. Okay, now we move to the last part of the session, which is Communicate Evaluation. This is done through a concept map. Alright, so what you need to do is uh, you have to complete the concept map by filling in boxes, empty boxes with words or a group of words that will make the flow logical and correct. So you have to choose the words or a group of words from the following box. You can now begin answering this. Are you done? Okay, let's now proceed with the follow with the checking. Okay, so the following are the answers to the concept map. Okay, so number one, the answer is gravity. Number two, the answer is trajectory. And then number three is acceleration due to gravity. And the last one, which is four, number four, the answer is VIY. Okay, so that is it for the for this part of the session, communicate evaluation concept map. So for this session, session number five of physics nine, you were able to do the following activities. Okay, so this is Sir CJ, and I hope that you would be joining me in the next session for uh, grade nine physics. Have a good day.